Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now in my previous video, I shared with you my best apps and tricks with the Nvidia Shield. Now in today's video, I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to show you how to install any Google Play Store app on your Nvidia Shield. So this means apps that are not normally intended for Android TV. It's going to open up a whole new world for your Android TV platform on your Nvidia Shield. And you won't even have to sign into the Google Play Store. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Ok, so once you start up the app, you'll see it looks quite similar to the Google Play Store. On the top there's a search bar so you can search for the app you're interested in. It's all very familiar, you just select the app you're interested in and it'll bring you to the download page. You can scroll down and look at the screenshots and the reviewer's star ratings. And on the main page, if you select the more option, you can filter the results by ratings and number of downloads. Now to get every single app available to you on your Nvidia Shield, we need to update the settings. For example, if we search for Angry Birds, you'll find that you won't find it anywhere. This is because the Google Play Store is filtering down the apps according to your device. So if you go back to the home page and click on the hamburger menu and scroll down until you get to spoof. Now from here we can spoof the Play Store into thinking we have a different device other than the Nvidia Shield TV, i.e. a mobile phone thus opening up the Play Store to the full Android experience and not apps just for Android TV. So currently our device is correctly set up as the Nvidia Shield TV. So I'm going to click on Spoof Device and this should give you a list of devices. Now I'm going to scroll down and choose a Google Pixel 2. Now I've chosen this because it is a Google device and it should have access to all the apps on the store. You'll then get this message that the setting will be applied after you restart the app. So if we click back to the homepage and select Account and just simply click on Log Out and then just click on Login Anonymously. And now if we go back to the home page and scroll down to spoofing, you'll see that we're logged in as a Google Pixel 2. So let's do that search again for Angry Birds. And now what you'll see is that all the Angry Bird apps appear. I'm going to choose Angry Birds 2 and just click on install and then open. <laughs> The key thing is to spoof your device. Now to get this software store up, we first need to go to download and enter Aurora APK in the search bar. Now this will bring up a few results. You need to scroll down until you get to the Fdroid Aurora app. Now simply scroll down until you get to download Fdroid and just click on download and then click on install and install again and finally click on open. Here we need to click on the green search icon and now we just type in Aurora and we want to select the second one down and finally click on install. Click on install again and that's it guys we can now open the Aurora app store. Click on the next button. We now need to give it permission so click on ask. Click on allow and then it will ask you how you want to log into the Google Play Store. I'll click on anonymous. And that's it guys, we are logged in anonymously to the Google Play Store and we can download anything we want. Just remember to spoof your device. Now I've also added the Aurora App Store to my Nvidia Shield's favourites apps. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.